are going to do very well. Now, if we're unable to make a deal, we'll terminate NAFTA. We'll have a better deal. If we are unable to make a deal, we will be better off. Right now, uh, we are not going to live with the deals the way they are. European Union treats us very unfairly. Canada, very unfairly. Mexico, very unfairly. With that being said, I think we'll probably very easily make a deal. We have massive trade deficits with almost every country. We will straighten that out. And, it, and, and I'll tell you what, it's what I do. It won't even be hard. And in the end, we'll all get along. But they understand, and you know, they're trying to act like, well, we fought with you in the wars. We, they don't mention the fact that they have trade barriers against our farmers. They don't mention the fact that they're charging almost 300% tariff. When it all straightens out, we'll all be in love again. Baby, you can call it anything you want. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter what you call it. It used to be the G8 because Russia was in it, and now Russia's not in it. Now, I love our country. I have been Russia's worst nightmare. If Hillary got in, I think Putin is probably going, man, I wish Hillary won, because you see what I do. But with that being said, Russia should be in this meeting. Why are we having a meeting without Russia being in the meeting? And I would recommend, and it's up to them, but Russia should be in the meeting. It should be a part of it. You know, whether you like it or not, and it may not be politically correct, but we have a world to run. And in the G7, which used to be the G8, they threw Russia out. They should let Russia come back in because we should have Russia at the negotiating table.